Morning everyone. It is Memorial Day 2020. Um, I'm recording here from our beautiful um, courtyard, our, our rosary garden wa uh, walk. I'm sitting in front of a tree here and as if you can see, you can see some of the back, you can see the Holy Family statue, um, you can see the beginning of the rosary walk, you can see those sort of pieces. So I just want to say, first of all, Happy Memorial Day. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your day with your family. And please stay safe. Um, we do ask for you to do that. That would be wonderful. Um, kind of give you an update of where we're at for the parish. As you have seen, we have started parking lot masses. We had a good turnout this past weekend. We had about 170 people come to the three different masses. Um, you guys did a wonderful job. Please remember to wear your mask whenever you are in public. I carry mine with me. And the only reason I don't have it on right now is because there's nobody else around and, and I'm outside. Um, please uh, remember to social distance. Whenever you come, please do not congregate or talk. Um, there's church bells. Please uh, social distance, and especially when you come to communion, please social distance. Even among family members, please do that. Um, we will continue our parking lot masses until we are told otherwise. That way we can have, everybody can enjoy the blessed sac uh, the sacrament of the Eucharist. And because otherwise if we go into church, we're limited to the number of people and not everybody can, is able to attend. When we get to the point where we're actually going back into church, we will keep you posted and let you know that. Again, follow our website and that's where the most current and up-to-date information is. Uh, thank you again. Please encourage if you come, if it gets hot, please bring an umbrella um, and uh, so you have a little bit of shade because I know the parking lot can get a little bit intense or a little bit hot. Morning masses are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at 8.30, Thursday is at 6 p.m. and then on Friday it's at 8.30 p.m. in the morning. So we have one evening mass and the rest are at morning, in the morning at 8.30. So please, please come and join us. Um, and w celebrate the sacrament of the Eucharist with everyone here. Give you an update, also parish offices are still closed. Uh, we are still not, um, Marion County has their own, um, we're in a timeline a little differently than some of the, most of the other part of the state, but we are not having part, we're not opening up to the public at this point in time. We'll keep you posted on that. Give you an update on our financials. May does not look quite as good as April has. Um, we are going to be down about about fifteen twenty thousand dollars from where we did in April. We are so we're running about ten percent below budget. Uh, ten percent below no twenty excuse me twenty percent below budget. About ten percent below where we're at last year at this time. So please continue to give. Please uh, mail your envelopes in, or if you come to Mass, we are picking up envelopes at Mass. Please use Faith Direct, and we've seen a, a nice uptick in our Faith Direct. We really appreciate that. That's a wonderful method to, um, to do your tithing through, or use bank-generated checks, or if you need to do ACH. If you have any questions about that, please contact myself or Jadine Johnson. Emailing us is the best way, then we can call you or get back to you. I'm a Hoyker at STB Indy, and Jadine is J Johnson at STB Indy. Um, so, just to give you that's a brief update on our financial piece. Um, we will have more information as we go along. The Monday morning updates on financials. We are reevaluating to see if we need to take a look at that. Maybe instead of doing it every single week, doing it at a different time period, like once a month or something like that with a little bit more information. So please continue to be the great St. Barnabas family you uh, have been and continue to give. Um, one other thing too, I also want to do a shout out to Connie Merkel and please feel free to contact her. She is collecting. St. Anthony's Food Pantry is open again and they're collecting giving out to families. Um, just email her and um, if you need her email just give me a shout and I'll be glad to send it on to you. Um, they are collecting um, food at her house this week for the food pantry and you say well I don't go out to the grocery store I just you know we can help you with that there's a way through Kroger that it can be um, 
that you can call it in and she'll be glad to pick it up. So if you need to get in contact with Connie, please give me a shout out. Our food pantries um, are still in need and will be in need for a long time. As we know, even though we're all opening up and we're uh, slowly doing that, the need will become more apparent as we go along as businesses and our economy uh, struggles. So please, um, please continue to give. Please continue to do those things. Garden of Hope, we are still doing Garden of Hope. And um, any money you send in will be used to help those families in need. And if you know of a family who is in need, uh, please contact us so we can get um, to reach out to them. And you can reach out to me or to Patty Kane, as I'll probably pass on the information to Patty. In, memor in honor of Memorial Day, um, just want to give a little brief history of it. Um, I'm not a historian, so please don't. My information is not 100% correct, but I do want to just give you a little update on Memorial Day and things that people may not realize or may not know. On Memorial Day, or Decoration Day, as a lot of people have known it, like my, fam my folks knew it as Decoration Day, not really as Memorial Day began in around after the Civil War and it was in honor of all the individuals who had given up their life uh, in the Civil War and in previous wars. Over the years it has grown and at that point in time what people would do is they would decorate the grave site of their loved ones who were lost in the war. And then it evolved into the people would decorate the grave sites of the people who have actually passed away. And that's the way, that's the term Decoration Day came around. Originally, it was always done on May 30th, celebrated on May 30th, and then in 1971, or in 1968, something in that range, it became actually a federal holiday that was celebrated on the last Monday of May. Um, and it's actually May 30th, but it's actually celebrated on the last Monday of May, is why it's being celebrated May 25th. Um, so that's a little bit of trivia, um, but I do want to um, keep in our prayers, especially today, all those who have given their life through the you know, through the armed uh, services. Um, it could be from um, the World War II, Korean War, Vet um, Vietnam War, um, Iraq, Iran, all of those, all of those who have given their lives in past wars in their service and through the armed services. We honor them and spe say special prayers for, th for those who have fallen. Thank you. Have a great and safe Memorial Day, and we will talk to you later. Thank you. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at mhoyker at stbnd.org.